So, I'm gonna update you on what just happened to my brother who laughed at me for tripping while sitting down. The fact that both of us almost fell down while sitting right now. Not okay. We are highly sleep deprived. Get some help. Okay, so as architecture students, we have that access to an AV room. What's, what's it actually called? Audio visual. Audio visual room. And it's so cool because my laptop is now connected to some fancy sound machine to remove echoes and we are being projected on the screen with the camera. That's so cool. You are like a granny because <laughs> only you. Okay, does it pick up the audio by still here? Yeah? Okay, it's picking up my voice. Is it picking up mine? Yeah, it's picking up both my voices. For a different perspective, this is what our view looks like. Hi. Hi guys. How are you? I'm good, thanks. And yourself? I'm good, thanks. Oh, you guys look very professional. We're so nervous. We're talking about how we feel like we don't feel professional. No, no, you guys are fine. It's all good. Um, did I, did I teach any of you guys in first year or do I know any of you from okay good I thought the name sounded familiar so I was like yeah I might have known you from then okay you guys are in your final almost final year yeah that's nice that's good how are you feeling are you all good <laughs> yeah so we're good I think just tired because we've had a lot of submissions like in the past few weeks okay no yeah no I get it <laughs> You've been yeah. through it. Yeah, I, I remember the struggles. <laughs> um, okay, so thank you so much for speaking with us today. No problem. And it's actually like quite difficult to pinpoint what exactly is vernacular architecture in South Africa because it's so broad. That's very true. Thank you. Um, before we end off, do you have any secondary thoughts or ideas that you would like to share? Yeah, no, I think it's great that the two of you are and your group is researching uh, this. I think it's very important questions. I think um, for me, it's something that I personally, I find very important in questioning uh, how we see architecture, given our personal identities and backgrounds and cultures, really sort of in everything I do, trying to challenge what it means and how I practice and design. And I think yeah, I think that's that's really important for the next generation of architects to find that voice themselves. And I think it's really it's it's really difficult because I think sometimes we only we find space for that in a very academic and research based field. So I think we really need to try and push uh, sort of uh, understanding these questions and sort of taking it into practice and ha having students that are confident enough to go into practice and being able to voice and challenge the people that they work for. And yeah. Uh, I think that that would be a really uh, cool and amazing thing if we start seeing that that shift. I wish you all the best for your work and your future studies as well. Oh, thank you so much and all the best with the rest of the project. Okay, bad lighting, but anyways, the way that we had to improvise on some questions because like we asked a question and then she would answer what I was going to um, ask next. And then um, Kiana was looking at me <laughs> and she was looking at me like a proud mom or something. Like, I was like, that's, wow. This is what you get from years of architecture. You just learn well, how to improvise on the spot. Oh, Kiana is just... No, I'm still trying to like recover from this interview. <laughs> it was such a fun interview. And she's, like, she's so nice. She's like the sweetest person. We're now waiting for our recording, our recording to, to save. save. because this the recording is saving, right? And we Google to see how long it would take. And everything says like 24 to 48 hours. But this was just a 25 minute meeting. Sounds like a you problem now, Jackie. <laughs> this is the whole group. <laughs> so Kiana told me to refresh the page. So let's, let's see what happens, right? It's done, there. The one that was stressing. 
You see, my optimism comes in handy sometimes. Architects solve problems, right? Yes. So, we are. We just finished the interview with Amina, and now we are going to record our intro and outro. So, okay, now. <laughs> we have a script. So if you're looking on the side, that's because we scripted this whole thing. Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> What's my first in here? Very strong. Thank you. We come closer to the thing. So the Hello everyone and welcome to our podcast. My name is Kiana. And my name is Rocky. This is episode one of two and the topic for this... No. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. The way that we practiced this before and we could do it, what is happening now? I'm tired, yo. We're mainly looking at African vernacular architecture. Wait, what is vernacular architecture? According to the Oxford Dictionary is the language spoken by or, the language spoken by ordinary people in a particular country or region. The vernacular architecture can then be defined the vernacular architecture. <laughs> Oh, I have to hold this up here the whole time. Yes. So. Do you want me to hold it? Mm -mm. Okay, good, because I don't want to. <laughs> Yo. I have to be polite. <laughs> Listen to this I girl, have to be right? <laughs> We're the future architects of the world. What do you think, Raki? What do I think? I don't think. She doesn't think. In a podcast. One, two, three, go. I think that's quite... Why is it so close to my mouth? Because <laughs> you talk so... Ready? Yeah. Because you speak so softly. So like I need to like put it like here. Um, um, but as future architects and designers, it could even be up to us to create a new style that could be seen as vernacular. Whoa, that was a mouthful and I feel like I spoke so, so fast. Mm -hmm. How do you formally say that's very cool? Watch this give me synonyms for... She is not <laughs> actually... She is not actually searching this. No, Look at this. I, I don't want like cool. I want like cool like... That's chill bro. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's trying to open the door. But did someone else book this? Because we have it until the level. This is Lumpy. What is he? The head of... How do you them? He's the head of the school. Yeah. Okay, we need to wrap this up because they need to oh, Okay. You said they need that one, so we should be done just now. That's very insightful and it would be cool to be the generation to create a whole new style. I'm pink your purple, right? Can I say this last part? Yeah. Okay, is that better? Okay, let's let's go. Please tune in for episode two presented by Rotondwa and Anushka, where they will be discussing vernacular spaces and the stories they tell in the South African context. Done. Done.